Hey, this is uh, Mick from OneNote 2 and since we just recently redesigned the eSIM management tool, I think it's a good time to look, go through the eSIM transaction and also see how does the comparison tool work uh, beforehand. So first let's go to the eSIM management tool and you will land on the overview page where you will see all your uh, eSIMs and also enabled or activated uh, telecom profiles. Now let me move over here I think and let's start look for a new carrier. So right now I'm seeing uh, three different carrier options in, uh, in uh, one of these portfolio. And if I want to start comparing them, I just need to add them to the comparison table. And once I move down here, I will see the global uh, pricing for all the countries. And if I click Open Europe, I will see the exact country and then the pricing. And within country, I can see available networks and also the radio access technologies, which is a bit more convenient is to look for specific countries you are planning to deploy in so let's do all the politics so Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia and as you can see we'll filter these countries up here so it's much easier for you to see the costs associated in the countries uh, where you will be deploying the sims now since we have a Good engineers, they told me that our device is to around 12 megabytes per month, and then I can see that all right, 12 megabytes in these countries is 48 cents. And I can also see the SMS pricing, and uh, which is even more cooler is that I can see like soft aspects of the profiles, so I can see what functionalities are available in uh, in one of the terminal through this service provider or are not av available and uh, this might be also a uh, consideration when uh, when uh, deciding which uh, telecom profile to choose and also we we'll see the monthly base fee and also the one time transaction fee uh, and now see if i select megabyte package as my data package type I can see the automatic discounts uh, that are applied right away and I'll see that all right, this will cost me around 33 cents uh, per month uh, if I commit to consuming 12 megabytes. Sounds all good and I'll continue with this carrier. And now the eSIM transaction starts. This is a four step uh, process but it should be uh, quite self-explanatory. So the first question is do I want to just download it or I want to enable it right away meaning activate it right away. I want to activate it right away. So I'll continue to select the sims. Now I can select uh, by sim by groups or tags that I have set in terminal or I can select by uh, carrier. So currently all the sims that are using default carrier I want to switch them from default carrier to Vodafone. So this is what I can do right away. Continue the next step. If there are some errors, we'll let you know right away. I think that's the biggest improvement in this uh, second version of the easy management tool. And here I can see that I have currently four sims with default carrier, but three of them can participate in the transaction. And therefore I can only continue with one eSIM. That's fair enough, I'll, I'll do it. And now the data package selection. If I have a data package already available, I can select it or I can create a new one. And here, similarly as we previously, you can either do pay as you go data package or you can do a megabyte data package. But since I already talked with my account manager, I have a data package ready, I'll go with this. And then it's just confirming the uh, transaction. I'll see that one eSIM was selected, what are the fees associated with it, I can double check the pricing once again. And then it's just a matter of starting the eSIM transaction. And this is how the eSIM management tool works in one or two terminal. If you have any questions then don't hesitate to reach out.